This is WGEM News at 10. Well, good Friday evening. I'm Dylan Austin. Alexandra has the night off. New at 10, a new facility hopes to fill a need for child care in the gym city. WGEM's Brett Neese was at the open house for the new daycare. He joins us in studio tonight with more. Brett? Yeah, Dylan, good evening. The owners of the former Washington school opened their doors tonight so parents could get a look at what will be called Little Angels Child Care and Preschool. They hope to enroll at least 80 kids right away. Alexandra Turwelp and her family are checking out Quincy's newest child care center. They say it can be hard to find a quality place to watch their kids. We're looking for the babies, so we're trying to find a good daycare that has, you know, not too many babies, you know, because we want to really focus on the diaper changes and, you know, being able to take care of him. So, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, we've looked around at a few different places. Tonight, the owners and their staff showed off the newly renovated facility. They put in new flooring in all of the classrooms. There was just a lot of little different things that we had to come and, you know, work on getting it up to code, getting up to our standards of how we wanted something to look. Douglas says it's special to be able to repurpose the former elementary school because of who used to attend it. It's definitely a blessing for me because my mother went here from think kindergarten to sixth grade or first to sixth grade, so it means something to us. Parents like Turwelp not only toured the new place, but they were also able to register their kids tonight. We really like it. We really think that it's open and welcoming, and um, we like the different colors of the rooms. And there are a uh, few more things the owners have to finish out before they open. They plan to have the fire marshal look at the facility the week of February 3rd. And if all goes well, they could open as soon as February 10th. They are also hiring and as staffing increases, they'll be able to accept even more kids. Brett Neese, WGEM News. Okay, Brett, thanks so much. The center will also be holding an open house if you miss today's from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. tomorrow. If you plan on possibly registering your child, uh, make sure you have immunization records and a current physical along with $20 for the application fee.